Hello Slicey Dicers, this is Brian with another knife video for you. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 favorite beaters and I am going to use the word beater. I went back and forth. You could say user because some of these are are pretty expensive. There are three of them on here that are, are undeni undeniably expensive knives, but I still use them because they are either built for it or I know the company will take care of it if I do something wrong with it or I actually, in the case of all three of these, both. Um, and I, I still don't hesitate to use them. So I guess this is like my top 10 knives I don't hesitate to use, but uh, I am, I'm going to call it beaters. For some people, beaters are going to, you know, you want something that's $20 below, whatever, something like that. And then we got a couple that are close to that. But to me, price doesn't make it a beater. It's, it's how good it is to use. Uh, we're going to start in a second. Before we do, I do want to tell you guys, because I know these videos get a lot of a lot of views. Um, YouTube has changed their algorithm, so please make sure that you are still subscribed. Hit the bell icon, all that stuff. They've been removing a lot of people's subscriptions. It's not just in the knife world. A lot of my car YouTube buddies are complaining about it too. So uh, make sure you do that. And check out the Patreon. We're three away at the time I'm recording this from giving away this We Nar. So make sure to check that out. It's going to be a Patreon exclusive giveaway. The first time I've ever done that. Um, and you also get, you know, some perks and early access to sales and and stuff like that. Um, and lastly, we do have Teespring down below. If you want a t-shirt, a, a sweatshirt, coffee mug. You guys have been asking for hats. Sorry, Teespring's hats suck. And so I'm not, I'm not doing that. Love you, Teespring. You're great with your t-shirts, but the hats won't let me, won't let me get anything in purple. So, um, nope. Um, so anyway, let's get going. Uh, these are in no particular order other than the last one is my favorite. And there is one honorable mention. We're going to start with that. It's only an honorable mention because it's newer and I didn't know what else I would kick off the list to put it on there. Uh, but my first one, my honorable mention is uh, the Spyderco Native Chief. I've been using this a whole lot. Um, like I said, it's just new and, it, and it's honestly a bit big for what I usually do for my EDC sort of tasks. So it does definitely get used. I do carry it a whole lot. But a lot of times when I do open it up, it, it's, a, it's a bit it's it's a bit big, you know, so there, there's no denying that. Uh, about 170 bucks. Nice, simple backlock design, S3V steel. Uh, great knife. I adore the Native Chief. Uh, it almost made the list, but just barely didn't. But I thought I should bring it out. Like I said, these are no particular order, but I think we're going to stick with the Spydercos initially. So um, next up, we're going to have one that definitely easily made the list. And that would be... The Spider Co. Manix 2. I have two different versions here. Um, I've owned... God, I think... <clears throat> excuse me. I think I've owned like... Uh, probably like six or seven Manix 2s. I've owned a lot. Uh, this is the Knife Center exclusive version with the Smooth G10 and the Crew Wear Blade. And this is my first one that I ever got that I still have. Uh, this is the Lightweight with the standard BD-1. Just great knives. I mean, the ergos on them work for me better than the PM2. I, I like I like the PM2. Nothing wrong with the PM2, but these just I like Manix 2s better, and they're a little cheaper. They're gonna around like ninety something for the lightweight, and I think this one even even the crew wear like exclusive from Knife Center. I think it was like one hundred fifty five. Um, great knives, great value. Um, ergos are awesome. Blade shape is is superb for what most people are going to be doing every day. Just great knives. Uh, I really like them. This made me, th this knife made me fall in love with that, with knives. This is kind of the reason why this channel exists. If there's one knife that I could say why this channel exists, it's this one. I think I did a video about it, like, this is the one that got me or the one that broke me. And then, uh, this one I, I have, I use this one more now. Um, and it has been modified a little bit. If you're looking at the pictures and saying this doesn't look quite right, it doesn't. These are titanium, titanium uh, ball bearing cages instead of the plastic. It's one of the only things I don't like about the Manix. And then it has a deep carry pocket clip from MXG gear. But uh, and crew wear, it, it great steel. I, I really like crew wear, so I'm, I'm kind of addicted to crew wear. Whenever I see a knife in crew wear, I gotta 
Don't always keep them, but I got to at least get them. And next up, Spider-Co Adjacent. Uh, this is from Spider-Co's uh, budget line, Bird. I And I'm going to bring out two again. I would say any of Spider-Co's birds, or any birds that come in G10. Not going to say the FRNs. I think the FRNs are a bit too cheap feeling. These feel really nice. Uh, I don't know what it, they put so much more effort in the G10 models. Like, you know, they're all backlock and everything's all really smooth. And it, everything's, I've, every bird G10 I've ever had has been really nice. I wish I had a Raven 2 here because that is, is more of the epitome of it. I recommend the Bird Raven 2 over the Spider Crow Tenacious all the time. I even did a video about it. Maybe I'll link it at the end. But yeah, it, they're great. Uh, the only problem is a lot of them are. 8CR, 13MOV, wah, wah. But Spider Co. Slash's Birds 8CR isn't the worst thing ever. It's not great, but it's not the worst. Um, you're going to have to sharpen them a fair bit, but if you're working really hard. But I still, I like the Ergos. And they a lot of them are uh, analogs to equivalent Spider Co. models. Like this is a Kara Kara 2. So it's basically the same size as an Endura, but it's got a forward finger trial. This is a Harrier 2. Basically the same size and shape as the new Indela, but it's got a forward finger trail. And it's got and and these have G10, which is a lot nicer than even like other than the steel, this is a much nicer knife than an Endura. And other than the steel, this is a much nicer knife than the Indela. It's just it's weird how they do stuff with bird, but uh, I wish they'd upgrade their steel a little bit. Um if they were all BD one N, I would or even just regular old BD one. I would be happy as a little girl, but but they are not. Um, next up, uh, oh, and those are about in the, uh, by the way, the, I didn't say the prices on these. Most of the birds are, you know, 35, 40 bucks, something like that for the, the G10 models. They're, uh, they're not too bad at all. Um, next up, we're going to do something expensive. We're going to go on the other, other end of the scale. Uh, this is the second most expensive knife you're going to see in here, but I love it. And it's one that I use all the time. Two hundred eighty dollars. Get it out of the get it out of the way. Uh, but I explained why earlier why I still use stuff like this. Um, you could tell by the sound. The ZTO five six two tie. Surprise to no one that watches this channel. I love this thing. Twenty CV steel, full titanium. The ergos are just so good. It's so comfortable in the hand. It, the blade works great. It's a hinderer design. I love hinderers. Um, but this is still a little cheaper than most actual hinderers, so I feel a little bit less guilty using it. And, um, oh man, I just love this thing. It's just such a great knife. I just, it's kind of just, when I see it, I put it in my pocket. It's kind of one of those sort of knives. And, and it does that. Yeah, that, that noise, that noise never gets old. I just took a little bit off my fingernail there. Look, at, I'm going to leave that blooper in. And then the action is just so much fun. Even though it's a user, you still want the action to be fun, right? It, that doesn't hurt. 0562 tie, yeah, 280 bucks, but it's a full production knife. I can get another one if it broke it or whatever. Um, next up, let's do something a bit more expensive, but then again, in the same family, uh, the Kershaw Bare Knuckles. I'm about 80 bucks on one of these. I think this is a superb value, uh, USA made. Um, 14C 28 inch steel, superb user steel, superb user steel. 14C 28 inch is so highly underrated. I don't know why more companies don't use it. I really love it. You got the subframe lock, and if you have one of these and you've you've taken the time that it's broken in, maybe had to tune it a bit. Um, probably not, but a lot of people say, "Oh, you get death lock if you touch the lock bar." Well, don't don't do that. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it's it's not hard to keep your fingers off from it. Just don't do that. But uh, once they're broken in, this is just a, just as smooth as that 0562 tie you just saw. They are fantastic. I like the blade shape. The ergos are good. I carry this thing a whole lot. And as you can see, the aluminum's held up pretty well. I know there's one nick on it somewhere when I dropped it on concrete. Oh, there it is on the back and the spine there. But other than that, it's held up well. I I love the bare knuckle. Eighty bucks, right around eighty bucks. Pocket clip on some jeans is an issue, but rarely. 
Um, I, I think I have like one pair of jeans that it's, it's pretty hard to get in and out of, but everything else is, is pretty much fine. Awesome. Bear, I love the bare knuckle. Great knife. Um, next up, let's do, and then say, well, we'll stick with the same price range. We're, we're trying to keep some, uh, some good, uh, good segues here. Uh, also about 80 bucks, cold steel code four, uh, they switched to S35VN now, which uh, I love the XHP, but S35VN is still good too. I wish they were still XHP, but they couldn't get it. Nice hollow grind. Triad lock, you know it's not going to break. One of the toughest locks in the business. Um, again, aluminum handles. But uh, just just a one of my favorite all-time EDC knives. Um yeah, it comes with two different pocket clips if you want to carry it right and left. It's completely ambidextrous. You just have to switch the pocket clip. Uh, but thumb stud deployment, I like that a lot. You get, you get flipper fatigue. I've said that before on this channel. But, you know, when you're a knife reviewer, you kind of get you kind of get tired of flippers. Um, it's not like a super flippy, flippy dippy, you know, fun to play with knife. But it's not bad. You know, you got to get a little bit of flick to get it to snap like that. But when you do, it does. This is the drop point one. They also come in a Tanto, uh, but really cool knives. The Code 4 is, is just outstanding. 80 bucks, and you beat on it all you want. It's a freaking cold steel. It's going to be fine. And S35VN, excellent user steel. Again, like 14C28. It's, it, it holds an edge well enough, but it's not a complete nightmare to sharpen. So I think that's uh, part of the reason why I like it so much. Um, next up, we will we'll switch back to something a, a bit more inexpensive. Another two for Honey Badgers. Pick your poison. This is the ACR 13 MOV version with the forward finger trail. That is the 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 D2 version does not have a forward finger trail. Um, I prefer the D2 version, even though it's a bit more expensive. You're looking like 55 bucks versus like 30 bucks. Um, but I I like I like the I like D2. And their D2 seems to hold up okay. I haven't I haven't put a ton of miles on this one, but um, it, it seems to hold up okay. And the action on them is just so much fun. And the ergos are so good. You're going to... I'm going to say, or if, if you drink every time I say ergos in this video, you'll probably die. But it... I like... That's one of the most important things for a user for me is just, is it comfortable in my hand? I guess... Because all knives are, are okay, you know, at cutting things. Uh, or not all, but most are pretty good at cutting things. It's the ergos that matter. You want to have it... You don't want to work for an hour and have your hand hurt. And these have really good ergos and they, you know, they do that. Which... And they do that. Which doesn't hurt. And they do that. You know, they're... Honey Badger is just cool. And now you can get them from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So you don't have to go through the whole Amazon rigmarole and track all that down. Smoky Mountain Knife Works has them in stock. I don't know if they have the, the D2 one yet, but uh, you can. I know they definitely have the 8CR ones. Put those away. What are we down to now? Um, let's do the most expensive one. Um, you guys have seen this knife on the channel a lot, but I, I do honestly actually carry it and use it and i don't give a crap that is the chavez ultramar 229 375 dollars not cheap uh but i don't know i just m 390 steel they're just it's just built like a tank it's built by riot so i know it's it's i know it's not gonna break uh, and the design is just very overbuilt um nice hollow grind great slicer yeah, I just, like, about a month ago, I was out in my garage, and I had to cut, I had to cut up a very large box. I got a fully assembled recumbent bicycle in a box, so it was a very big box, and I had to cut it up to get it in the recycling, and uh, I realized this was in my pocket, and I thought about going back inside and switching knives, but I was like, ah, you know, screw it. It's, it's meant to be used, and it's fine, and this is even the hand rub blade, and it held up. I thought I scratched it up, but then I got back in the house and wiped it off with a, with a, you know, a, a chamois or whatever. And it was completely fine. Microfiber cloth. That's the word I was looking for. And it just came right off. So it, love this thing. And it's just so confidence inspiring in your hand. Nice big tank. Of course it does have uh, the hypnotizing skull. But other than that, God, I love this thing. Action is great. 
And again, not a flipper. Um, next up, we will do, uh, I think we're down to two. Yeah, we're down to two. So let's, or three, sorry, we're down to three. I'm just going to pick one. I could pick the whole damn line, but Civivi. Yeah, I, they make some great stuff, great prices, great users. There's so many of them. But my personal favorite, and they've just started to come out with more versions of it, so this is apropos, is the Backlash. I love the Backlash. I love the 9CR18 MOV Steel. Um, that I like it better than them using D2 all the time, like they are in a lot of the new ones. The Ergos are amazing. Again, like I said, I cut a lot of really long cardboard cut lengths, and th this works awesome for that. When you're just trying to cut down the length of a bike box, great uh, hollow grind. It's like 13 thousandths behind the edge or something, I think it was. They are super, super slicey. Nice deep carry clip. This is the OG model with the, the blue uh, internal liner. Some people hate that. Some of the new ones don't have that. Um, but just love it and it's sna snappy great knife there's just nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with this thing and and that's why i use it so much and and why it's probably got it's got tape goo and all kinds of crap over it uh but love the backlash my favorite civivi still to this day um next up an expensive one and then the last two are together and that's the final and, and they're fairly inexpensive we have Again, unsurprising, Southern Grind Spider Monkey, 220 bucks in this carbon fiber version, but you know, I I don't care. It's it's really well built, and again, S35VN, which I really like for an EDC steel, and I carry the hell out of this thing. I've only had it since, I think, March? Something like that? I don't remember when I was out in Utah, and I, I bought this at Blade HQ. I bet it's my number one carry knife of the year when I add up at the end of the year. It's... Uh, Again, thumb stud deployment seems to be a, seems to be a, I didn't realize it was such a trend here, but I do like a thumb stud. So, uh, a fantastic knife. Ergos are good. Blade shape is good. It's got a good, good thick point on it, which is something I didn't talk about earlier. That's something I really look for in a, in a, a user. I don't want to worry about snapping the tip off on doing something stupid, even though I don't usually, cause I'm a knife guy and I know enough not to, but still it's nice to know it's there. Um, I just love it. And for being on bronze washers, it's really good action. Excellent action. Um, love, love this knife. And I know there's something wrong with it. Southern Grind would take care of it. They're great people and it's a great company. They, part of your money goes to support a great cause. Uh, and yeah, it, helping kids out. What, what, what can you complain about? The, the spider monkey is fantastic. You, you should get one. Lastly, this is my favorite beater and has been for a long, long time uh, before this version even came out. Uh, when I got involved in the, the channel and I started up, I asked some people who well, already had channels, what should I buy? Everybody recommended that I get at least one of these. They were right. Ontario Rat Model 1 or 2. Uh, depends on your legality in your area, which size you can carry. Uh, or, or weird pocket size or whatever. These are the D2 models. Uh, I do like the D2 models better than the OS8 models. But the OS8s, you can find at some Walmarts for uh, like 20, like 20, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. They're always on sale, it seems like. If you can find them, they're on sale. Um, but you can't at most Walmarts. But these are a little bit more than that. You're looking at 40, 50, but fantastic knives. Such a simple blade shape, such a simple handle shape that's so comfortable. Uh, we're going to talk mostly about the Model 1 here because I think that's the one I use the most. Um, but I just, the, there is nothing to hate about this knife. I don't hate the price. I don't hate the ergos. I don't hate the blade shape. And they are so snappy. I just said that Southern Grind had really good action for being on bronze washers uh, it's uh, not as good as this and this is what quarter of the price at the most um they they make that noise that and this blade shape again it's just so useful the ergos are so good 
yeah, I mean, this, this is the knife I recommend most, I think, to people who are like, they know I'm a knife guy and I'm work uh, and they, they actually work for a living. They don't sit in a, in an office or, or talk to drunk people like I do for a living th that actually do stuff. And they say, what should I get? I go, Rat Model 1, like all day long. They're just fantastic knives. A bit of a pain to take apart. There's a whole lot of screws, but can't go wrong with that. So that is the conclusion of my video. 20 minutes I've, uh, I've held you guys here. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Uh, Put your comments down below what your favorite your favorite beaters are. I'll try and reply to as many of them as I can. I thank you guys so much again for watching. And please remember again to like and subscribe because you might have been unliked and unsubscribed. So talk to you later. Have a good one.